Dear students, now we are going to discuss crossover distortion in class B amplifier and how to eliminate it. In general, distortion is nothing but the difference between the input and output of an amplifier. Here this crossover distortion is the major drawback of class B amplifier which is mainly caused by the non-linearity characteristics of the transistor. As we all know that the input characteristics of the transistor consist of three regions, cutoff region, active region and saturation region. Here this cut-in voltage of the transistor is the basic reason for this crossover distortion. As long as the input voltage is less than this cut-in voltage, the transistor does not conduct. Okay. So, whenever the input voltage is greater than this cut-in voltage, then only the transistor starts conducting. So, here germanium transistor, the cut-in voltage is 0.3 volt. For silicon, its value is 0.7 volt. So, whenever the input voltage is greater than this 0.7 volt, then only the transistor starts conducting for silicon transistor. Do you all understand this concept? Let's consider input voltage and output voltage signal for this class B amplifier. In class B amplifier, two transistors Q1 and Q2 are used. Okay, during positive half cycle, Q1 is in on condition. During negative half cycle, Q2 is in on condition. Correct? So here V gamma is the cut-in voltage. So whenever the input voltage is less than this cut-in voltage, there is no current conduction in the transistor, then there is no output. Whenever the input voltage is greater than the cut-in voltage, then only the transistor Q1 starts conducting. Do you all understand this point? Due to this crossover from positive to negative, negative to positive, because of this cut-in voltage, there is no output. Okay, so whenever the input voltage is less than the cut-in voltage, there is a time period between the crossing of half cycles of the input signal for which no output is present. That means zero output. So this is called crossover distortion. So due to this crossover distortion, each transistor conducts for less than half cycle rather than the complete cycle. This is the crossover distorted output. Do you all understand this concept? That's what given over here. When the input voltage is greater than cut-in voltage of the transistor, it starts conducting. Whenever the input voltage is less than the cut-in voltage, there is a time period between the crossing of the half cycles of the input signal for which the output is zero. Then we can get crossover distorted output signal. Due to this crossover distortion, each transistor conducts for less than half cycle rather than 360 degree. Okay. It is common in class B amplifier. So next we are going to eliminate this crossover distortion. So how can we eliminate this one? This can be eliminated by applying a small forward bias which is equal to the cut-in voltage. Okay, to the base emitter junction of both the transistors or if you are going to apply small forward bias to the base emitter junction, then we can immediately start the transistor, then there is no crossover distortion. First, we are going to discuss elimination of crossover distortion in push-pull class B amplifier. So, in this class B amplifier, we are using two transistors of same type. Here the diode is used to provide a small required forward bias across the base emitter junctions of this transistors. Okay, so here the diode is used to provide small required forward bias which is equal to the cut-in voltage of the transistor. Do you all understand this concept? So whenever the input signal is given, then the transistor immediately starts conducting because of this diode voltage. Do you all understand this concept? So due to the forward biased diode, here the Q point, that is operating point, shift upwards on the load line. In general, the load line, here it is the load line, 
the Q point is present. Whenever we are adding this diode voltage to this circuit, then the Q point is shifted upwards on this load line. So since the signal is a large power signal, the shifting is a negligible one. Next one is elimination of crossover distortion in complementary symmetry class B amplifier. In this complementary symmetry amplifier, we are going to use two transistors of different type. Okay, so in this concept, we can introduce voltage divider circuit to provide an additional required forward bias to the transistors. So here we can use two diodes which can provide a small required forward bias to both the base emitter junctions of this Q1 and Q2. Okay, so here we are going to use two diodes. So these two diodes are mainly used to provide the required small forward bias to overcome the crossover distortion and also to provide the temperature stability. That is maintain the necessary biasing to overcome the crossover distortion when the temperature is changed.